Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. Have you ever seen one of those listings on eBay where you think this must be too good to be true because it's so cheap for what they're offering? Well, I've had one of those experiences and I couldn't resist. I actually sent off for this the TW64 Sports Band. It uh, claims to be uh, Android Wear. Multifunction, pedometer, distance measuring, calorie consumption, management of sleep management, event trigger, call reminder, message reminder, clock, sedentary reminder, anti-last remote camera vibration, and it does it all by the looks of it. So I thought, well, for this price, I'll just go get it anyway. And it arrived in the post this morning, so I'm just going to unbox it. We can see what it's actually like. And here it is, the smart bracelet. As it says in the front, call reminder, sleep monitoring, calorie consumption, movement distance, the movement distance, okay. The first bracelet with OLED recording sports data in daytime and sleeping data at night to guide every healthy living lifestyle, okay. USB port designed with IP67 for good waterproof performance. And then it goes on with the specifications of the pedometer and the hardware itself. The screen size, battery, and it synchronizes with most smartphones and the computer by the looks of it. It did say PC. Just put it out the box and we'll have a look at the actual unit itself. So here are the instructions, and they look as if they are in English. An Asian language in the back, Chinese or Japanese, I don't know, I can't read it, but the English is here. There's all the information about the band, and off it goes to the drawer of obscurity. The charging lead is a normal USB with this funny little clip design. Three pins, so I expect there's a, something it clips onto on the back, but we'll look at that in a moment. Yes, there. Peel off the covering, the protective covering for the screen, the OLED screen, of course. The fit of the band doesn't seem quite to match the unit it's enclosing. There's lots of gaps there. <laughs> Not cut very well by the looks of it, but it holds it in place, I suppose. The button to switch it on and nothing. Maybe it's not charged. So what I'll do now is I'll go off and give it a charge and see if I can get it to work because pressing that button is doing nothing. So here we are back again, I've charged it up, it has come on, and I've downloaded the app for it. Now there is an app on the App Store, but it doesn't work properly with it, so I used the QR code here on the instructions and downloaded directly the app. And this is the app itself, very basic, if I don't switch my phone off. you got the pedometer functions. Calories, distance, duration, degree, degree of what, I'm not quite sure. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, you can keep a record. And then your sleep. Setup guide, you set it up to mail and weight and height and everything else. You got your target for your number of steps each day and then you've got the main setup functions here the units language firmware information about sync in the background notify of calls so it does actually notify you if you get a telephone call or a text on your phone one thing is, if you do change anything, you need to reboot the unit for it to take effect. So let's have a look at the functions on the band itself. You've got the time. 
Number of steps. Calories burned. Distance. What I haven't shown you here is that if you do a long press on the button, it takes you into sleep mode where it just sets a timer going of sleep. This is the unit itself out of the band. Band does tend to pick up a lot of fluff. It's a quite a soft rubber band, it's quite a nice feel to it. And the only thing really wrong with it is the the fit around the actual unit itself. Now this is my old Microsoft original. It's seen better days as you can see, it's well worn. It's about the same width at the top, but of course the smart bands bracelet itself is a lot thinner, but then it does have a lot less function. This has GPS built in, heart rate monitor built in, and it's very easy to put on your wrist. So let's put the smart band on and see what that's like. Now I know a lot of these bands with these double buttons are quite difficult to get in, and it looks like this one's going to be no exception. Eventually got it into the holes and still a bit. There we go. So now it's on and it's actually very comfortable. You can hardly feel it, it's so light. So there only remains one thing left to do, and that's to test the claim of its water resistance. Because it says five meters of water resistance, but says also don't take it in the shower. So what is it? Will it work after dunking it in the water? Incredibly, yes it does. Let's dunk it for a bit longer. And again, it comes on again. Let's test it a bit further. Let's take it out of the band in case the band itself is providing the waterproof in. And let's see. Well, I must admit I'm, I'm amazed. I wasn't expecting it to actually be waterproof, but it seems to be waterproof. Is the TW64 smart band crap? Well, the answer is no. It's actually very good for the price. Again, thank you for watching.